You understand that? Funky down low, gangsta hip hop, funky beat for all those suckers out there who wanna try to defeat. We gonna take them on like this. So that's I repeat, we have a real situation. Shut down all access ways out. The last thing I need is a riot on my hands. Nobody gets in or out. Do I make myself clear? Sector 1, do you copy? Repeat. What? Do you copy? You better get a move on, sir. Looks like things may get out of hand down here. <laughs> Damn those animals. That was an accident. Uh, right. oh, yeah. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Come on, Skip, you know, it's just busting some old school moves for the kids, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, there are several things we must address here. You know, first, uh, don't call me Skip. Address me as Mr. Jordan in front of the students. Second, music is not permitted on the school grounds. That's not my rule. Uh, I love the beat. Uh, third, uh, now, why don't you do what you were hired for? Like, uh, push a broom or slosh a mop around? Um, keep the place clean, okay? Uh, my office is open for the next half hour. Feel free to pop in. <laughs> Bust a move. Hey, what'd I tell you about cursing around here, huh? Yeah, I know, I know it's the last baton. Bastion of a person who can't find the right words to use in a time of a heated moment. And besides, it makes you sound stupid. All right, so listen, come by my office tomorrow morning, I'll fix your radio for you. All right? All right. Okay. Thanks, Rich. You home? Sherry. Well, you not feeling any better? Mm. Better than yesterday, but worse than this morning. All right, go see Dr. Kriegel, will you? Rich, I'm fine. It's just this bug that everyone at work has. Three-day thing. It'll be gone tomorrow. Stop hawking me, okay? Fine. I could fix you a little dinner. You know, I can make you my world-famous tuna casserole. No tuna. Some green peas in there? No. Maybe a little cream corn? Uh-uh. Huh? A little cornflake topping? No, oh, God. <laughs> so that would be a no on the tuna. So, did you fix it? Quarter, please. Oh, come on, uh, uh, Rich. Uh, 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 quarter. <laughs> but... I swore in Spanish. That shouldn't count. No me importa maldiciendo es maldiciendo en cualquier lenguaje, ¿ok? Además, si quieres que yo te respeta, tú me tienes que respetar, ¿ok? Vale. All right. Okay. Now that I'm a rich man, how's everything with your father? Stepfather. Okay, I guess. 
Still looking for a gig. Yeah, well, you know, I'm sure Alberto is trying, okay? You gotta cut him some slack. This can't be easy for him. Are we cool? Huh? Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> All right, now do me a favor. Mellow out on that volume button, okay? Okay. Done. Thanks for hooking me up. All right, here you go. Why don't you get some different kind of music, you know? What's wrong with my music? <laughs> Thanks, man. This is it. This is pretty funny, huh? All that gangster stuff, you know? It's got all that cursing. Cursing? Damn, that boy is fine. ka -ching. Hey, sir, what's up? <laughs> you know what? I don't care, because he's worth the fee. Hey, Jesus. Stay out of Jordan's hair, all right? Thanks, guys. My owner of a red jeep, please move from the tollway zone. You okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, if you could give me a hand, that would be great. Yeah, what you need, my man? Uh, well, besides the higher GPA, a uh, full ride to Michigan, and a little help with my outside J, uh, <laughs> I settled for directions to Miss Ching's class. Oh, you're in Linda's class. This way. All right. Whew. Tell you what, man, this school is so much bigger than my old school in L.A. Oh, Mr. Hollywood, yeah? What brings you up here? <laughs> it's actually my dad. He got transferred again, you know? Every six months, new zip code, new school. It's, it's kind of this ongoing process. Yeah, well, you know, you're gonna dig it here. You know, it's a good bunch of kids. Yeah? So, uh, how long have you been in special, uh, uh... So what'd you say you taught? I didn't. Didn't what? Didn't say I taught. I'm the custodial engineer. Really? You mean, you mean like a janitor? <laughs> exactly like a janitor. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. This is uh, Jake. Uh, Ma what is that? Madison. Madison, Jake Madison. He's a transfer in from LA. Don't hold that against him. Rich, um, I think there, <laughs> there's a seat back here if he needs a seat. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. Hey. Hi. How you doing? All right, you two. Okay, you get acquainted later. All right, where's Miss Ching? Uh, she got called away for a minute. Oh, so you guys just thought it was it was free time, huh? Oh, you were the one dancing in the cafeteria. That's right, in the cafeteria. But a classroom is a place to expand your mind, okay? So, so come on, guys. Open your books to where Miss Ching left off, all right? Hey, yo, Brady, hook me up. What are you guys studying? Square roots, common denominators, the usual. Usual. <laughs> okay, no problem. What page? 217. Okay, it says here that uh, a square root is the, um... A denominator is, is what? Um, a base number? Okay. Okay, good, good. Um, so, if you if you have a base number of. Hey, uh, retards, one on one. You learn the alphabet yet, or what? <laughs> okay. Forget about it. Let's talk about. Uh... Hey, Rich. Oh, hey, <laughs> Miss Ching. Hey, uh, yeah, I was just uh, you know, I was just keeping them sharp for you till you got back. Thanks. Right. Thanks, Rich. Okay. Uh, hey, you guys, you uh. Keep those denominators common, all right? You know, I'm out of here. Oh, <laughs> We've got a fight on the basketball court. Why you got no business being out there? What do you know about basketball? All you need is bust people's lips. Man, you shouldn't even be allowed on the courts with that weak ass Enough. game. Enough. Now, uh, Mr. Guterres, fighting again. Good move. I'm sure your parents will be thrilled to have you spend the next two weeks at home with them. I heard over the radio. I thought you might use a little help. I'm fine, thanks. I want to talk to Rich. Pardon me. I want to talk to Rich. I'm the guidance counselor here. Look, I know that, Mr. Jordan. Look, I just want to deal with Rich, OK? Yeah, me too. I want Rich as my lawyer. <laughs> Don't push your luck. You're coming with me, Guterres. I'll deal with you later. Trying to get me in trouble, too? Come on. Oh, oh, that burns, man. Oh. You think so? Yeah, it hurts. 
Oh, man, great. Is this fun for you? You want to come in here and shoot hoops in my trash can? You know, you split that kid's lip open, you're whining about a little alcohol on your arm. Come on, I, just, I... Don't interrupt me. You think you're just gonna walk through life being this tough guy with a mediocre J? Mediocre? Let me tell you something, my man. You're gonna try and step to the wrong guy, and he's gonna dust you, kid. All right, there's always someone out there tougher, meaner, and don't care one way or the other about pulling the trigger. Boom, you just another statistic, yo. All right, go on, get out of here. I'll talk to Jordan for you. All right. Thanks, man. There's no way I can get suspended for two weeks. Oh, no, you're out of here, dude. What? I'll try to get him down to a week, okay? Hi, excuse me. You mind if I sit down? Uh, uh, please. I don't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to thank you for taking it easy on guitarist. He's kind of going through a bad time at home right now. I don't know if you're aware of, you know, what's going on with him with his mother leaving and all. Of course I know that. Yeah. Yeah, divorce can be kind of... I know what divorce can be, Rich. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, you have a good day. Thanks, you too. Who missed the kids with the light skin? Two friends that are means making it go tonight. We can come back home in the cheap kids. That's how it works. We got the corners is the easiest, the sleepiest people. You know they're trying to use you. I know you're listening to what you want to hear me, like you choose to. Who knew that you would be broke to pay attention? I gave you some rope, you felt choked like you were winning. Actually, I didn't play last year. I, I messed up my knee pretty bad. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I know you're gonna try out for the team here, right? I don't know, man. You no, know, my knee's still pretty messed up. New sides, you just transferred over here in the middle of a semester. It's just kind of crazy right now. Well, who you got? Uh, you know what, man? I forgot. You forgot? Y'all, the school's big, but it's not that big. Uh, um, it's an Asian teacher. Mr. Lee? Yeah, Mr. Lee. <laughs> Good, man. For a second, I thought you were going to say Miss James Glass. A retard's 101. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Anyways, man, I got to get out of here. All right. I'll catch up with you guys later. Good run, man. Good run. You really got game. You got serious ups for days. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Um, listen, uh, I got to get out of here. I got to get home. What's your deal? My deal. Yeah, superstar athlete kicking it in special ed. What gifts? I was just trouble with my transcripts, you know, transferring over and all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, I'm serious. We move around a lot. Oh, you move around a lot? Yeah, it's my dad. He's got to work. Lucky him. Listen, you want to go get a slice or something? Yeah, I mean, n yeah, no. I mean, I want it with you, but. We got the test and stuff tomorrow. And... Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, you know, uh, maybe another time. <laughs> okay. okay, I like that. That'd be cool. Okay, well, I guess I'll I'll see you around. All right. Um, Marcella. Uh, I got a couple hours, and I mean, if you're still hungry for food, for pizza. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Freddie. Just sit down over there.
I just want to say thanks again for looking out for me. And I'm a good worker, Uncle Skip. And Mom said that you were the best one to help me. Tell you what, Freddy. Come back in a couple of days. I'll see what I can do. Trash cans! You guys hear of trash cans? <laughs> you know, uh, I've been thinking. You could just do me a little bit of a favor. Well, you know, that depends, my man. What's up? Well, um, when I transferred over, obviously some of my grades got lost, and the school board has clearly put me in the wrong class. Don't, don't get me wrong, Miss Ching, I, she's fantastic, but it's just... I don't belong in that classroom with them. Them? Yeah, you know, the Speds. You know, I, I don't care what your grade point average is. Really, I don't. And I don't mind that you're in Linda's class. But don't you ever, ever call those kids Speds again, OK? Because no matter what you're trying to sell me, you're sitting in that classroom with them. So what's the deal? Are you going to say anything or not? Hey. You know, I got no reason to, you know. You can hide all you want, but I'd have had a lot more respect for you if you would have told me the truth. Rich, I'm telling you the truth, all right? Yeah, sure, yeah, no problem. I am. Then, uh, if you're so smart, buddy, then why the hell are you the janitor, huh? Huh? Hey, hey! Let me tell you something, all right? I know how those kids feel sitting in that classroom every day, every day. It's not what you are that matters, kid. It's who you are, all right? I know this firsthand. I hope those grades show up soon. Damn it. I hate this place. It was strange. Gutierrez, what's up? What's up, Ricardo? <laughs> what's up? Hey, Jake, what rock you been hiding under? You know. No, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I've been busy, all right? Gutierrez, we should go. We got that pickup game over Lincoln. Hey, Rich. This was in my mailbox. It's by mistake. School board? What are they writing to me for? You sure this is for me? Probably some kind of award for all the work you did with the kids. Oh, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so what does it say? Um, you were right. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, they um, want to honor me with an award. That's fantastic. I'm going to go tell everybody. No, no, please, please. Uh, you know, I want to keep this a secret. Yeah, you. So modest. Yeah. See you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Franklin Park ASAP. Franklin Park? What are you doing at Franklin Park? I couldn't really come home, not just yet. Can you just get down here, please? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'll be right there. Rich? Rich, are you okay? I am so screwed, you know? I am so unbelievably screwed. Oh, 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 hold on, Beb. Take it down a notch. If you want to talk, let's talk. If you want to redecorate the park, then I'm out of here. Big deal? Sherry, do you realize what this letter says? 
Yeah, it says that it's come to the attention of the school board that you don't have your high school diploma. Exactly, so now what? So now you, according to this letter, have 30 days to get your GED. Come on, you can do this. How? How, how am I supposed to pass this, this test in one month? I mean, what if the kids find out? This makes me the biggest fraud. All I ever tell them is how important it is to study, how important it is to get a good education, you know, to go to college. And the truth is, all I've got is a 10th grade education. I couldn't even tell them what a denominator was. How am I supposed to pass this test? Oh. I read this letter, Sherry, and I wanted to die. You know, I never should have taken that plant manager's test. How am I supposed to walk back into that high school and face them? How you tell me, because I don't know. Rich, kids half your age take this kind of test every week. How hard could it be? Rich, it says right here, all you need is an 81 to pass. An 81, Rich. Walk in, take the test, get your 81, you walk out. Come on, when you walked out of PS83, you never thought it would catch up to you. Why now? Why not now? It did, and that's it. End of story. Everything happens for a reason, Rich. Everything. So just step up. You want some help? No. No, I gotta do this on my own. Okay. I could quiz you or something. Sherry, I, I appreciate it. I do. I do. It's just that when I go into that room, no one's going to be there but me. Sure thing. No problem. Um, what's the square root of 144? <laughs> you killed me. Hey, I'm just protecting my assets here, Rich. If you don't pass this test, then we're both screwed. Now, what is the square root of 144? And don't tell me you need to do this on your own. You can check that macho crap at the door. Twelve. The square root of 144 is 12. You're beautiful. You're not getting extra credit for this. Get back to work. You are gonna be fine. Uh, an 81 is like a B, a very low B even. Okay, save it. Please, no pep talks right now. Okay. I'm gonna throw up. I can do this. Yes, okay. You got your pencils? Check. Erasers? Check. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. 81. 81. Okay. Rock on, Donato. All right. Okay. right? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I knew it, man. <laughs> this is such a trip, huh? It's me, Charlie Zakin. Charlie Zakin, uh... Dude, I used to be the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, oh, For your jar, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> uh. So, hey, anyway, what are you doing in here, man? Uh, it's, um, something with a school board, um, uh, screwing up my transcripts. Uh, mm, political thing, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Political. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, I kind of got screwed up once I got into high school, man. You know, partying too much and that whole thing, whatever. But, man, I'm going to nail this bad boy today. I got to do it. I got to get into community college. I got a baby on the way. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm sitting here with you. It's so trippy. <laughs> yeah.
damn school board, huh? I guess they like never stop screwing with you and stuff. It's yeah. Well, look, Charlie. You know the school board didn't screw up. I dropped out too. You're a flunky too. I got you. No, I just dropped out. Yeah, I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying. Hey, you know it's it's cool. It's cool. It just uh, <laughs> kind of snuck up on me. That's all. Ooh. Showtime. Good morning. My name is Vincent Lexington, and welcome to your high school equipment exam. To answer your earlier question, the GED is taken by over 700,000 people a year, so you are not alone. This will be a five-part test taken over the next five hours. Each section will be timed. And please don't open your booklets until I instruct you to do so. Now, when I say next section, you must move on if you want to complete the exam. I want to wish all of you tremendous success. You may begin the first section. Time, please begin the next section now. Time. Please put down your pencils and pass your exams to the front of the room. Yeah. Hey, test over to pass it up. <laughs> one-hour recess. If you would like your results, please be back by then. Otherwise, they will be mailed out to you. Hey, Mr. Don. I mean, uh, <laughs> Rich. Um, I want you to meet my girl, Mimi. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. You too. Charlie told me you used to go to school together. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, kind of. Did Charlie tell you this is like his ninth time taking the test, so I totally hope that he passes this one. <laughs> How'd you do? Oh, you know, I, I didn't exactly ace it, but all you need is an 81, so I mean, how hard could that be? All right, right. I mean, you get 10 points for spelling your name correctly, right? So, mm. results are in. Okay. Mm. Oh, hey, um, good luck. Yeah, you too. Nice to meet you. You too. All right. See ya. Good luck. Oh, I can't look. Come on, lay it on me. Let's go. I mean, ten times a charm, right, man? <laughs> Here you go. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, Keep your head up. All right. Rich, you gotta lock up. 
Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Couldn't sleep. Scooch. Hmm? <laughs> God, nice hair. Great tux. Oh, me, look at you. You look like you're on your way to a Wang Chung concert. I, I was cutting edge. You know I looked hot, baby. Probably maybe not that hot. Hmm. I can't do it, you know? Do what? Pass that test. Of course you can. Just have to study harder next time. Mm. Oh, hey, did Bobby ever get out of jail? It's not gonna make any difference. Oh, what, you're just gonna chuck it after one try? That's real smart, Rich. I get a job at my Uncle Joe's garage. And then what? You think that's gonna make you happy, rebuilding carburetors? Well, the money's good. Big deal. You think the money is gonna make it all right? Don't try and snow me, Donato. You don't work at that school for the money. You know it, and I know it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm just a bum. You're not a bum. I sat next to this kid who remembered me from like 10 years ago. Oh, hold on a sec. I think I left the violin in my other robe. Oh, you know, come on, Sherry, this is serious. Oh, come on, you don't think I know that, Rich. You got three weeks to pass this test. Three weeks to succeed. This test is hard, Cher, okay? Real hard. The questions are like 10 minutes long. By the time I get to the end of one, I forgot what the beginning was. You take a train from Paris to London kind of stuff. I mean, who cares? You know, I don't know how long it takes. I don't care about that stuff. Better start caring, because no one said this was going to be easy. Well, you're not the one who has to take it. You're not the one who's got to sit in that room. No. But I am the one who married Mr. Mallhead, whose best man fenced our wedding gifts. So if we could get through that, this is cake. You know, I, I really don't have time right now. But, Rich, this is really important. Why don't you go make an appointment with Jordan? I'm sure he's got time. I just, I don't have time right now. But, Rich... Marcy, please, okay? Just go see Jordan, all right? That's, that's his job. And I just want to apologize to you because uh, I've been acting like a real loser. And um, <laughs> hey, Jake, you know, I told you I don't care about that. Yeah, I know. It's just uh, my transcripts, they weren't lost. Uh, see, um, I'm supposed to be in Miss Ching's class. And it's just every time I move, I got to go through the same thing over and over again. And it must be tough. Yeah, it is. I mean, it sucks. Uh, 
You see, I've been in Romito my whole life, and I'm just at this point where I'm really sick of always having to defend myself, you know? Yeah. Yeah, sure I do. It's... You know, Jake, you just, you gotta be honest with yourself, because I'll tell you, you never know when it's gonna come back and bite you. Yeah. So, uh, then we're cool, right? Yeah, of course we're cool. All right, man, I was very worried about that. <laughs> Divorced. Of course I knew that. Hey, Rich, you got some stuff for jelly? Uh, Rich? Process your files, come to our attention, minimum requirement. No high school diploma. This is too good. Oh! Jeez, Freddy. You scared the hell out of me. I'm sorry. You told me to meet you here at 8? <sighs> yes, 8. But not here. My office. Let's go. Come on, come on. Hey, Rich. Rich, look. Hey, look, I know you're probably busy, man, but Marcella, she, she never showed up for school today. Yes, she did. I saw her this morning. Yeah, I know. So did I, but she never made it to class. Well, maybe she's just ditching. I don't know, man. When I saw her, she was all freaked out about her stepdad or something. Stepdad? Yeah. <sighs> all right. I think I know where she is. Cool. Let's go get her. Uh-uh, I don't think so. You stay here. I can't take you off campus. Rich, it's lunchtime. Who's gonna know? Forget about it. <sighs> don't touch that. <laughs> Rich, okay, these Just two. sit there, okay? No talking. You like this music? I'm uh, talking? No touching. I suppose it's gonna do any good to tell you to stay in the car, huh? Uh, no. So I can talk now, right? Good, uh, where are we going? Right over here. So what I tell you about my secret place once, so you gotta steal it from me? Get out of here, I don't wanna talk to you. You know, you guys gotta understand, and I know this may be hard for you to believe, but, you know, I got a life outside of school, too, okay? So come on, you know, start talking, sister. We're moving. Where? When? Two months. My stepfather got some stupid job in Wilsonville. Well, that's great. No, it sucks, Rich. I got to leave my friends, you know? The school, my whole life. Marcy, I know it's tough, but you know, the man finally got a job. You know, he's going to be able to take care of you and your family. You know, this, this is a big deal for him. I know that, Rich. Trust me, I do. Anyway, you're not the one that's got to move. Hey, hey, look at me. Listen, I moved like five times in the past two years. It's all right, you know, you get used to it. It's... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay, all right. You know, I hate to break up this Hallmark moment. You know, it's very sweet, but you give me a cavity here. Come on, children, let's go. Your trip's over. Hello, Freddy. It's Uncle Skip. Um, I think I'm on to something. 
Yes, with benefits. Okay, then, you take care. Oh, Freddy, tell your mom. Okay, bye. This is a very, very, very important show. If you think you're helping me, you're like a gnat. You're like a mosquito here, okay? <laughs> Díselo a mi mano porque mi cara no comprende, ¿sabes? You know, you're, you're lucky I don't entirely understand what you just said. Oh man, I just love it. Give me the ball. Stop it, Mike. Right, here we go. All right, Jay, listen here. Take the shot. You need to practice. Very good, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, she hangs tough, that one. <laughs> that the school board you. Well, you know, that that's, did... that's uh, kind of what I want to talk to you about. Is there like a, a teacher confidentiality thing, you know, like what would people have with their shrinks? I, I don't know. Why? Because um, what, what I have to tell you is, is real confidential. Go ahead. You have my trust. Well, you know, that, that letter that I got from the school board wasn't... <laughs> exactly to honor me it was to let me know that they were aware that i don't have a high school diploma you know and not like i i had one and i lost it i mean uh I, i never graduated from high school and if i don't get one or uh, a ged i'm gonna lose my job okay so what do you want to do about this Well, I tried to take the test myself, but I bombed. You know, I wasn't even close. I mean, you need like an 81 to pass. What did you get? A 41. Okay. How much time do you have to pass the test? Uh, three weeks. I, I got three weeks. Okay. So meet me after school in my classroom. We'll start today. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Well, listen, uh, the kids can't know about this, okay? I won't say a word. Don't worry. All right. All right. Hey, Let's take the lesson you are teaching in here. Okay? When adding fractions with dissimilar base numbers, you must find the lowest common denominator in order to complete the equation. All right, you lost me somewhere between dissimilar and denominator. One over two, two over three. What is the common denominator? Rich, are you following? Five, is, is, that, is that the common denominator? It's six. Oh, yeah, six, right, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna say six, because, uh, of course, five is the, um... Have you ever, in the past, Rich, been tested for any kind of learning disabilities? I, I could never follow along, you know, keep up with the other students, I mean, My mind was always wandering, I mean, you know, not like I was daydreaming, just kind of tuning out it just never held my attention not like other things you know and that's what i don't understand i could work on a car for like hours not even be aware of the time that it passed you know like a whole day could go by you know but if it was something else something that i couldn't grasp right away then forget about it i was lost in two minutes whoa sorry uh i didn't know you guys were in here um i forgot to pick up my homework assignment it's okay go ahead all right thanks what are you still doing here donato Rich and I, we were uh, having a conference about a student. About me? Maybe, you never know. Oh, why, what did I do? <laughs> Would you get out of here before you confess to something? Go on. Gotcha, see you later. I'm gone. Um, have you heard of ADD? I'm sorry, did you say something? Attention Deficit Disorder. ADD? It's a joke. <laughs> of course I've heard of it. I also heard of uh, dyslexia and a lot of other things. You know? 
I mean, I know I got certain problems that, you know, as a kid, nobody wanted to talk about, you know, including me and my folks, nobody. You just feel kind of stupid, and that's that. You know, you try not to get busted. But then that got to be too hard, so that's... That's when I split. Uh, we just gonna have to take it slow and uh, break it into more pieces. We'll do this together. Here I am Supposed to be Good luck today. Thanks. Hey, how you doing today, huh? You feeling good? <laughs> Not bad. How are you? Good, good. Stand up straight. You look good. Okay. All right, you loose? All right. Tenth time in here, baby. Double digits. <laughs> I got to pass. <sighs> okay. Time. Please put down your pencils and pass your exams to the front of the room. Lousy 50, and that's with a tutor. A teacher couldn't help me pass. I couldn't help me pass, with the exception of God Almighty himself coming down here and taking this test for me. I, I don't know what other options I have left. There is still time. There is no time, Sherry. Time is up. I lose, okay? Just admit it. Oh, great. Great, I don't even have you in my corner anymore. You know what? Let's just go upstairs and pack, because I don't want to see the look on those kids' faces when they find out what happened to me. Why now? Why, when you're this close, do you want to quit? Close? Close to what, Sherry? A 50 is like a million miles away from an 81. No, I gotta walk away from this now because, because that's my only choice I got left. I mean, let's just stop pretending, Sherry. I'm stupid. I'm goddamn stupid. You are not stupid, Richie. You made a decision a long time ago that may have been stupid, but you are not a stupid person. You quit. You walked out of that school and nobody said a word. Nobody. But you got one more shot. You better take it. You hear me? So, come on. You're right. Well, let's go, Rich. Let's go pack. I mean, I wouldn't want you to have to face the embarrassment or, God forbid, the truth. So I'll go out to the garage, grab a couple of boxes, and start packing. Hell, we could be out of here before school on Monday. Better yet, let's sneak out of town in the middle of the night. God, I am just so tired of this song. Time to stop running, Rich. You know, I've been with you a long time, I love you, but for the first time, I gotta wonder, Donato, if you don't think you can do this, then guess what? Neither do I. I just gotta catch my breath here. Are you okay? Just have to 
catch my breath. All right, that's it. You're gonna make an appointment with Dr. Kriegel for first thing Monday morning. Rich. Sherry, don't argue with me, okay? You've been sick for weeks. We gotta find out what's wrong with you. I know what's wrong. Actually, what's right. I'm pregnant, Rich. <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. Great, huh? Yeah. That's, that's amazing. I found out that the success rate is like 12% on your first try. Yeah, it's not great odds. So, how do we want to do this? Well, I think it should be at the school. You know, like an assembly or something. And Wednesday nights, Rich plays poker, so it should definitely be that. Okay, I'll arrange that. Sherry, are you aware Rich suffers from ADD? And what I can assess, a slight case of dyslexia. Yeah, we know that. You, you know, they're learning centers. And... He's trying real hard. I just, you know, I just think he just needs some more help on his side. I'll get the parents and teachers. You take care of the rest. All right. My name is Linda Chang. I'm a teacher at the school. Right now, we're in the middle of a very difficult situation. One of our employees is being forced to resign. Why? What did they do? He didn't do anything, Mr. Gutierrez. He never finished high school. And it is mandatory that all employees of the school district have a high school diploma. Who'd give a teaching job to a non-educated teacher? Are you telling us that a teacher has been teaching here without ever having finished high school? Actually, he's not a teacher. He's our janitor. Get out of here, let's go. You dragged us down here so that some janitor could keep his job? Please. Please, please wait, everyone, please. I'm Sherry Donato. Most of you, all of you, probably have no idea who I am, or who my husband is, for that matter. My husband, Rich, is the janitor here. He's special, not just to me, but to your kids. Lady, no offense, but he pushes a broom around. He doesn't just push a broom or clean up after them. He's there to listen and to lend a shoulder to cry on. Rich doesn't live in a world where people are judged by the number of diplomas hanging on the wall. He judges people by what's in their heart. I need your support to write letters to the school board, to the mayor, to anyone who listen. Rich has unsuccessfully taken the test. He's even had a tutor, and to be honest, I don't know if he'll be able to pass before the deadline. Let's go. Let's go. I'll help Rich pass the test. Mr. Donato, I'll help Rich pass the test. I'll help Rich pass the test, too. I'll help Rich pass that test, Mrs. Donato. I'll help Rich pass the test. I'll help Rich pass this test. I'll help Rich pass this test. And I'll help Rich pass this test. What was the subject, object, and verb in that sentence, Rich? Excuse me? What was the subject, object, and verb in that sentence? What are you, yanking my chain? No, you're actually yanking ours. 
You're gonna pass the test, Rich. What test, man? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Your GED. You're gonna get your high school diploma. We're gonna make sure of it, man. You, Rich Donato, are gonna score the highest score ever in high school history. You know why? Because we're all behind you. Okay. All right, okay. I don't know how you, uh... All right, thanks. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Yes. I told you, I got that one already. H2O is water, I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But how many parts hydrogen, how many parts oxygen? One part oxygen, the one in the middle, right there, okay? All right, tough guy, but what about these, uh, these little mouse ears on the side? What do you call those, huh? Duh. <laughs> That's hydrogen, <laughs> all right? Two parts hydrogen. H2O. Very right. good. You're picking all it right. up. Yeah, That's what I'm talking yeah. about. I'm going to miss you a lot, Donato. Miss you, too. Miss you splashing around, Ah, there's your water. Your H2O. Oh, what happened to you? Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> this was a nice surprise. <laughs> I didn't really, you know, feel like cooking dinner tonight. Yeah, so. well, you deserve it. We can't really afford this place, Richie. Well, really? Why not? <laughs> I mean, after being tutored all day by a bunch of kids, set up by you. Kids? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Okay, fine, fine, thanks. For whatever you didn't do. Thank you. I don't know what else to do, Rich. Nowhere else to turn. We need, you need this job. And I figured the kids are the best way. Yeah, well, you know, at this point, uh, anything's worth a try. I, j I just, I don't want to disappoint him, you know? You just worry about passing that test. Yeah, it's my last shot. Shh. Between the kids and their parents working. Parents? Um, did I forget to mention that? How did that slip my mind? Share. It must be that the pregnancy, you know, raging hormones and all. <laughs> what are they doing? Um, nothing really, just uh, writing a few letters. We should really order, because I'm starving, you know, eating for two now. Letters, Le letters, letters to who? I'm not really sure, I think to the, to the school board, the newspaper, <sighs> the governor. Ooh, I'm beat, time to go freshen up. <laughs> Maybe the president of the United States, who knows? Donato, we're gonna be all right, you know that. <laughs> I know. All right, would you call me out here for a guitar? It's like, I don't got time for this. I gotta get back to work, all right? I'll play with you after school. I will school you after school. Okay, well, Rich, this ain't a game, man. It's a lesson. Oh, a lesson, huh? <laughs> yeah, a lesson in physics, basketball, it's a game of physics. You got shapes, force, and velocity, man. Take the rock, for instance. The rock? Ball, man. Oh, the rock. All right, that's good. I like that. I got you. Go ahead. Thanks. Anyway, now the ball is round, right? Now the hoop, or the hole, is also round. Now, it would seem the easiest thing in the world to put this round ball through that round hoop. There's a lot of the factors. Take that backboard. The backboard is flat. So if you put this ball too hard off the glass, and if the shot of the velocity is off, the ball's not gonna drop, you know what I'm saying? Or, if you put too much backspin on your J, then the rim becomes a factor, Brick City, because the ball is spinning in the opposite direction that it's traveling in. You follow me? All right. Let me see if I understand this. If I lay my brick off the rock too hard, then the glass will affect my flow. <laughs> no. No. Yank. What up? <laughs> All right, okay. It was a lucky shot. It was a lucky shot. This guy's got the idea. Let's go. 
No, it's a lucky shot, oh, Katis. Come on. Tell me one more time all about that velocity, huh? Forget about it, man. All right, give me the ball. Two seconds left on the clock. Donato waves off his teammates. He wants to go one-on-one -on -one with MJ, who came out of retirement just to play the man. The shot will give Donato and the Knicks best record in NBA history, not to mention a special GED MVP award for the One, two, three. Taking a little break? I was just, you know, shooting some hoops, taking a little breather. I would love to just take off in the middle of the day and play ball. Well, let's go right now. Me and you, a little one-on-one, -on -one, huh? Yeah? Yeah, nobody's gonna know. Nah, I couldn't. I got a meeting with Robbie Kamen. But I'll take a rain check on that. Cool. Anytime you want to play, Skip. Oh, well, uh... yeah. Might be hard to drive in those wingtips, though. Okay, now the A-bomb, right, was invented by who, how, and uh, when was it used? All right, the atom bomb was um, invented by and credited to J. Robert Oppenheimer. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole project was overseen by a lot of military officials. Go on, there's one. Well, um... The bomb was invented when scientists were able to successfully split an atomic... Nuclei. Nuclei. In 1945, it was used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nice. Okay, just wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What were the nicknames of the bombs? I don't know. Joey and Eddie, how the heck am I supposed to know that? Reg, you want to pass the test? You got to know this stuff. All right, fine. What were they? Fat man. Little boy. Fat man. Little boy. Yeah, that, that was good. What exactly are you trying to say? Um, you fat. <laughs> hey, Rich. Uh, no more lessons, OK? My brain is sore. No, nah, no, nah, no more lessons. You're all right. <laughs> OK, here it goes. Uh, I know what it's like to always have to hide from something, you know? Uh, always feeling stupid and been called a spaz and a loser, and in... <sighs> Look, I guess what I'm just trying to tell you is, uh... <sighs> I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> you know, when you first came into this school, you reminded me a lot of myself. You know, that's why I busted your hump. <laughs> what you got it going on? At the end of it all, you know, nothing is nothing if you don't believe in yourself. All right. All right. Take care, you spaz. All right, you loser. <laughs> so much to learn. It doesn't seem like nine months is even enough time. Yeah, well, try four weeks. Well, at least you're not going to be getting stretch marks. First time, I actually think I have a shot at passing this test. It's like the kids, you know, they come at you from this place, this common ground. They just don't assume you know the answers like adults do. Yeah, well, you're just a big old kid anyway. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's why I can learn through their eyes, you know. See how they see everything, and then I get it. You know, Sharon? I get it.
Richie Rich, what's up? Hey, you know, same old, same old. Cool, cool. You know what the beauty of the school is, Rich? <laughs> I know you're gonna tell me. It's like a cultural mecca. All races are represented. Yeah, I'm down with that. So who was Guillaume Bluford? You got me. First African-American astronaut. Do you know what year? Oh, I see. It's the double jeopardy round. 1969. Mm-mm, 1983. Sad, huh? That it took that long to get a brother into space. Mm-hmm. I'll give you double or nothing on this one. Maggie Walker. Who was she and what did she do? I'm drawing a blank here. First African-American female bank president, 1903. See, all they teach us nowadays, Rich, is who was Malcolm X, or Martin Luther King, or George Washington Carver, and all very cool people. Much respect goes out. But there's this whole other world out there, man, and it's yours. I know you're gonna pass this test. Thanks, kiddo. All right. Get him, baby. Hi, Brady. Hey, been looking for you all over. There is a reporter from Channel 4 on the phone. He wants to talk to you. Me? What for? Got a letter from one of the parents about your story. I, I, I don't know, Linda. I'm not in this for the publicity. I know that, but you should talk to him. It'll be good for you. Trust me. This is Rich. Hey, Rich. Lance Fillmore here. I was wondering if you'd like to do an interview with us for the 5 o'clock spot. How about you and I, uh, how about you and I just sit down and talk? You know, this is, uh, this isn't really a good time. Can I get your number and call you back? Yeah, um, it's, uh, 997-2134. Okay, I got it. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, looking forward to it, Rich. Rich Donato, report to the art lab for a spill. All right, what's going on? It's not my birthday. Welcome to history class. All right, you see, I knew there was no spill down here. Have a seat. What, you want me to paint my answers now? No, 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 no. What do you see in front of you? Horses, soldiers. It's a war. Bravo. Now, can you tell me which war? All right. Since there's no planes or tanks, I gotta go with a Civil War. Give it up to the man! Nice try. This is the Mexican-American War. It began in 1846 with a Mexican attack on the American troops on the south border of Texas on April 25th. The war ended on September 14, 1847, when U.S. General Winfield Scott occupied Mexico City. Now, a few months later, February 2nd, 1848 to be exact, a peace treaty was signed at Guadalupe Hidalgo. Now, this war was fought over land, of course, land in which Mexico continued to claim despite the fact that Texas had claimed its independence 10 years earlier. Okay, okay, so it's like a, a bogus landlord who still wants to collect the rent even though he don't own the building. <laughs> you got it, Mijo. All right. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, no, no, come on. No more surprises, no, no, please. No, no. This isn't a surprise. It's a gift. For you, Donato. Hey, Big Daddy. It's me, Donato. Of course, you probably already knew that. So I got a lot on my plate right now, you know, and I could use a little room for dessert. I'm not asking for a miracle, because you know I already think I'm the luckiest guy around. And I know you got your hands full. And miracles, they, they don't really happen, you know. I'm aware of that. 
I just want to be able to hold my head up when I walk out of that test center on Saturday. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. Thanks. You know, the, the public support, I mean, this, uh, this is just a great story, Rich. Not really. I, I mean, you know how many kids drop out of school every day? No, you don't. You want to know why? Because the number is so high that, you know, people stopped counting a long time ago. My, my story isn't all that amazing, you know, or, or wonderful. I mean, it's kind of a bummer, man. It's, you know, I just, I slipped through the cracks. The only reason I'm agreeing to this interview is maybe one kid will see this and not do what I did. So you'll do the interview? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can do the interview. Rich Donato is a janitor. A man who walks the hallways each day with a kind word for his students and a noisy walk that is unmistakably Rich's. Uh, four weeks ago, Rich's life has turned upside down. down. You're making me nuts. Well, it seems that Rich doesn't have a high school diploma. Why is this important? It is mandatory that all public school employees possess one. I wasn't, I wasn't really looking for any of this to, to happen, Lance. You know, uh, I mean, all, all this <laughs> attention. Uh, I, uh, just one thing led to another and uh, sort of snowballed. And here I am. Um, I'm just trying to pass this test and uh, you know, keep my job. I look good on TV. Unlikely tutors stepped up to the plate to give Rich one more chance of passing. <clears throat> Jake. Jake. <laughs> oh, oh, here I come. Well, we kind of owe it to him to make sure he passes the test. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, because you know. Losing him would be terrible. All right, thank you. Oh my God, look at my hair. Yeah, I never really realized how much Rich mattered to the school. And helping him has really helped all of us. Mm -hmm. yeah, all man, right. We won more than three games last year. Lester, we were robbed, man. <laughs> so there it is, a man who is adored by his students, respected by the faculty, and admired by the community. And tomorrow, when Rich walks into that test center one last time, he can rest assured knowing that in his students' eyes, he's already made the grade. I'm Lance Fillmore, Channel 4 News, Southway. Good luck, Mr. <laughs> Go get him. Okay. 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 didn't have to come out here, you know, yeah. I mean, no pressure. <laughs> but, uh, everybody, thank you. Thanks. All right, showtime. Do or die today, huh? Yep. Man, this is the last time that we're gonna walk out of here. I can feel it. I can feel it.
time. Please put down your pencils and pass your test to the front of the room. There will be a one hour recess. If you wish to have your results, please return by then. Otherwise, they will be mailed to you. Rich, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just don't want to go out there right now. Is it okay if I hang out here until you grade the tests? Sure, but it's just gonna take me a while. Oh, that's okay, I'll wait. But listen, you know, do me a favor. When you come back, just hand me my test, okay? Don't give me the results. Very well. Thanks. Hey, the man of the hour, Rich. How'd you do, buddy? It was Sherry. I don't know. Oh, hey. I didn't look. I, I couldn't look. What'd you get? Well, what is it? An 80. 80 what? Just an 80. Well, it can't be just an 80. It can't just be an 80. There's got to be a mistake. All right, hey. Hey, come on, you know. An 80 is awesome. All right, are you kidding me? I mean, that's like, that's like double the score that I got the last time that I... I took this thing, right? Okay, so, so thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you, you good, man, you did good. You did so good. All right, hey, Linda, you know, thank you. There's nothing to be sorry about, all right? Okay? Hey, hey. <laughs> Being a champion is all well and good, but you can't eat a crown. Althea Gibson, 1968, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, come on. Come on, you guys. You know, it's it's not like you're never going to see me again, all right? I'll, I'll see you guys on Monday. All right, so, uh, we got to go, okay? All right, hey, thanks, thanks for coming out, and, um, you know, thanks for the support, all right? This is Lance Fillmore, Channel 4 News. Uh, forget it, guys. Cut it. Let's wrap it. I guess. You know, I'll tell you, Sherry. Failing that test wasn't the worst thing. It was looking into their eyes. I just wish I could see myself the way those kids see me, you know? Those kids, you know, they believed in me so much. They supported me. They carried me. And I just let them down. I just let them all down. That doesn't matter. Hey, I mean, Jake. No, let me finish, all right? I mean, if we call like the school board or, or something. Hey, Jake, I appreciate this is bullshit, okay? Hey, that's gonna cost you double, all right? <laughs> <sighs> rules are rules, Jake, okay? You know, if they start making an exception for me, then they gotta do it for everybody. And before you know it, you know, there's chaos and anarchy everywhere, you know, rioting in the streets, right? <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? I'll call around and try to find a job. You know, maybe my uh, stepfather can hook you up. Rich, we're totally being screwed here. Jake, I told you, I tried to pass that test. Rich, it's not the test, okay? It's you. You were like the best thing that has ever happened at this school, you know? And they're just gonna take that away from us? Rich, it's not right. You know, everywhere I go, every, every new school I go to, it's like I get put into remedial. 
You know, the kids ride me for it. And then my dad, he'll come in and he's like, Jake, we're moving again. This time, no matter what the hell was going on here, you were there. You know, you were always there for me. And, you know, I just, this place, I don't know what it's gonna be like with you not here. It's, it's, Richard, you make this school a better place. All right, come here. Come here, all right? Hey, whether I'm here or not, it don't matter, all right? You got a friend for life, okay? And you kids, you kids make this a better place, not me. You kids are the ones that shine. Don't you ever forget that? Do you hear me? Don't you ever forget that? For God's sake, Freddy, it's fine where it is. Rich. I thought you had gone. I just got a few more things left on my desk. This is my nephew, Freddy. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, you must be the new guy, huh? Yeah, I am. Okay. I was sorry to see you were unable to pass the test. I really was pulling for you. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Thanks, Skip. Yeah, I, uh... I really tried. Hey, you guys want to hear something? Oh, nah, forget about it. No, please. True genius comes from what's in your heart, not from what a piece of paper hanging on a wall tells you. It's what the people who love you the most tell you every day. It's my wife, Sherry. Okay. You know, I know you're really gonna like this job, Freddie. I mean, the kids, they're, uh, they're great. Do me a favor, you treat them right, okay? Rich being gone. But in light of that, Rich would be very proud to know that this semester's highest test score belongs to Jake Madison. If you maintain the current GPA, which I know you will, you will be able to move out of my class by the end of the year. Congratulations. Sherry, telephone. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Donato, this is uh, Bob Arnoldson. I'm the head of the school board for your district. After reevaluating your case, it has come to our attention that you were... Misinformed. About what? Well, uh... It seems you were never required to take the high school equivalency test. Seeing as how you've been with the district for 10 years, you're automatically grandfathered in. Clause does not affect you. Only... New applicants seeking employment. So, um, so... What are you saying, that I got my job back? <laughs> that's, uh, that's exactly what I'm saying, Mr. Donato. I'm, uh... I'm very sorry for any, uh, inconvenience. Hey, no problem. I'm sorry, I was listening. Who cares? That's <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> you got your job back and you didn't even have to take that stupid test. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great, yeah. It's really great. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Lexington, I got my job back without having to pass this test, so it doesn't matter. I just wanted to walk into this room one more time, you know, just to, just to see if I could do it. Mm -hmm. So whatever I got this time, it's just for me. I can leave the results on the desk. Thanks for everything. It's been my pleasure. Where you been? Had a little unfinished business to take care of. How'd we do? Our baby's father is the most recent high school graduate in the state. <laughs>
Talks and little cravings and tired little 